You what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 20 online game. Today we are in the Superdome for a rematch of last season's highly controversial NFC. Joe, hold on a second. Brandon Cooks, are you okay, my dude? That looked like it really had to hurt. We might have to send Brandon Cooks to the concussion protocol because AJ Klein laid the lumber and then some. I don't think Brandon Cooks is going to want to return another kickoff for the rest of the game or for any matter, the rest of his career. <laughs> so back to what I was trying to say in the intro. This is a rematch of last season's highly controversial NFC Championship game between the Los Angeles Rams and the team we are using that we've accidentally ran commit with the New Orleans Saints. And our accidental run commit works because my opponent tried to run a screen pass. So we had his eyes on the running back the whole time and we actually get the interception with Robinson. So we get the ball on offense, which is what we want because our objective today we're trying to achieve is to get Alvin Kamara in the zone. Try to activate Alvin Kamara's satellite. X Factor ability as Bree stepping in the pocket. Kamara's covered, so we can throw it to Jared Cook on the run. And Cooks, or Jared Cook, I should say, gets us to the four yard line, which is cool, but doesn't really help us as far as getting Kamara in the zone as we have Taysom Hill in the game. How about that? Taysom Hill at the goal line, trying to get a big tricky, trying to move around. But Aaron Donald stops him like a turkey. We end up losing a couple of yards. We still have Hill on the field on third down and five, throwing the bubble screen to Austin Carr. But Peters is going to gonna bring him down two yards short as we go hurry up on fourth down and goal one more time with Taysom Hill it's the bubble again and we might have thrown it too late as Traquan Smith fumbles the ball anyways and Aaron Donald has a chance to return this one but one of the fastest linemen in the game Teron Armstead is going to shut that down pretty quickly so it is an eligible man downfield so even if we got the touchdown if we recovered the fumble for a touchdown whatever it was it wasn't going to be a touchdown because Eric McCoy decided to turn on the Jets a bit too fast. I don't know why my opponent decided, hey, let me run a screen pass even though I just threw an interception on one. And now he throws an interception trying to hit Gurley at the backfield. He puts his hands in the cookie jar and we're not going to let him get away with it. He did that on the previous drive, so I kind of put that on my back mind and it worked out for us as we are looking to put Alvin Kamara on a Texas route. One of the extra uh, hot routes he gets since he has the, what is it called, backfield master or something like that as one of his superstar traits to give him four additional hot routes. There's Kamara matched up against what was that clay matthews a tight end that's a mismatch you can't put a tight end against camara in the passing game and yes it is alvin camara as far as i know i know there's a big debate whether you say camara or camara i know there's no debate about whether you should be running quarterback draws with jared goff you just shouldn't do that my opponent really has had a questionable start to this game which makes me think we have a pretty good chance at getting Kamara in the zone. So I watched a video before I actually started recording this to see what's the correct pronunciation of Alvin Kamara's name. And Kamara himself said Kamara is what he says. So I'll go with him. Third down and 28. He's singled up against Clay Matthews again. Come on, man. You can't do that. Now he gets Alvin Kamara. So the unique thing about Alvin Kamara's in the zone ability is that even though he's a running back, in order to activate this ability, we need to pass the ball to Kamara. So we're actually not really going to be running the ball too much. I don't think we ran the ball once. Like even when we tried to throw or run the ball, we just kept on throwing bubble screens, which didn't quite work out. This is definitely not working out, trying to throw the ball to Todd Gurley at the backfield. When you're using these Los Angeles Rams, we showed it in the Todd Gurley first one free video, which is how good Todd Gurley is with that arm bar brandon cooks is back and better than ever we're gonna kind of let him score right here almost we're actually gonna tackle him at the five yard line i don't know how in the world cooks made that catch after that i kind of just let him get the extra yardage but uh, we were just catching up to him so you know what let's just stop him at the five let's see if we can play some goal line defense and so far so good unfortunately we dropped the interception he puts his hands in the cookie jar and we let him get away we let him get away with it because i was holding down that wide button just a bit too long we end up stopping him on third down so he ends up bringing the field goal unit up and good cool for him he gets three points better for us we get alvin Kamara back on the field we have to at least keep him interested in this game my opponent so he doesn't rage quit too early as we continue to work to get Kamara in his own kit it's pretty tough we're like coming out in five wide mainly to try to get Kamara in the zone and we've been passing the ball so much to the point where Aaron Donald is actually in the zone as Kamara with a slick juke move he's been giving poor Clay Matthews the business all game long as we look for Kamara on the drag route more than anything else right now just trying to deactivate Fearmonger off of Aaron Donald because that was not what I was trying to do my opponent goes into coverage with Aaron Donald with his x-factor activated what is he doing 
as we dump it down to Kamara. Just continuing to force feed the ball to Kamara at this point to try to do whatever we can to get this X Factor going. He's trying to cover Kamara himself, so we've got to throw it to other people to make sure we can get Kamara back open. Can we try to force feed the ball to the same guy all game? My opponent will try to stop it. So now that we've done that, back to number 41, back to getting first downs, gains of over 10 yards to get that satellite build ability activated. So once Alvin Kamara gets satellite activated, I believe it gives him better chances of catching one-on-one -on -one balls in single coverage using the rack catch as we tried to do it right there but Breeze kind of misses the mark his first incompletion in the game Drew Breeze has been pretty phenomenal in this one as Breeze that's not his game Drew Breeze trying to elude a fast linebacker not really his thing so Alvin Kamara is actually one reception away from getting in the zone so with three seconds left before the end of the first half we're just gonna get our cheap 10-yard gain with Alvin Kamara and we were we're gonna actually activate satellite in a very dumb football play since easily the field goal is the move right there but honestly i feel like we have this game in hand my opponent has been doing a lot of questionable things like you know throwing the wide receiver screen against the run commit and the quarterback draw uh jerry goff so here we go alvin Kamara, satellite it looks like wins rack and possession catches versus single coverage so he's got a receiver ability so really running the ball with this man is useless if you're trying to get him in the zone because once you actually get him in the zone Running the ball still doesn't do much as far as his X-Factor ability, so we're just going to continue to try to throw the ball to Kamara. This time he's covered as Breeze throws a beautiful, a perfect pass to Traquan Smith, where only Traquan Smith could get it. I believe that was Marcus Peters who tried to get the ball and would have gotten the ball if Breeze did not put it on the money. That was... Just beautiful and that's just what I love about Madden 20 this year as far as the past trajectories the fact that you can throw an absolute dot like that that's not possible in any Madden game besides this year so kudos to EA for getting that right as my opponent is getting everything wrong here I'm run committing and run committing and run committing I'm trying to get the ball back I'm trying to keep him in the game I don't want him to get stopped and rage quit and he just Finally, now that we just, he puts Higby on a streak, like, man, oh, man. He's onside kicking us. Interesting. It's mid-third quarter. A bit early for this, but <laughs> he's got an onside kick us. We are going to recover with Ted Ginn. Okay, um, as long as we get the ball back, fine by me. As we have Kamara one-on-one -on -one against Eric Weddle. We're taking our shot with Breeze, and that'll be intercepted by Weddle, and that'll knock Kamara out the zone. Ah. That's uh, not what we were looking for. As as Aloni's gonna get, was that an interception? It was an interception. Okay, a weird looking play right there. As we're gonna give it to Kamara. That's what his first rushing attempt of the game. Yeah, first rushing attempt. Why not? Now that we've accidentally knocked Alvin Kamara out the zone, we'll try to run the ball with him a little bit and see if he's a good, you know, running back. Which he is. He's gonna get the pitch. He's gonna get the touchdown. He's a pretty good running back when he gets good blocking and can just bounce it outside without having to make a man miss. As Natson, yikes! Whoever this guy tries to return the ball with, just not working out for him. As Goff looking one on one, but we're actually gonna get a wonderful SWAT animation from Patrick Robinson. How about that? So I tried to really just cheese and see if I could make a rack or a possession catch against Weddle and see if it would count. And I was literally holding down X the entire time until the last second they gave me an aggressive catch. I don't know why. I guess Madden was like, eh, it seems like the best way to make the aggressive catch. I'd like to make that decision for myself. So, yeah, I don't know if it would have worked if we went rack against Weddle right there. I, I would hope it wouldn't because that would just be a little bit too weird. If, you know, Alvin Kamara is making a catch, this guy racked it. So, yeah, that ability is not completely OP. It, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting ability to give a running back. Like, I know, like, Kamara and Christian McCaffrey, the two players that have satellite in regs, are receiving running backs. That's their specialty, but I don't know, man. It's, it's pretty hard to achieve for a running back. You really have to force feed them the ball. And then once you do get it for them, I don't know. It's, I feel like they could have done a bit better with an ability to give receiving running backs like McCaffrey and Kamara as far as what it takes to get them in the zone and you know what happens once they do get their x factor activated so yeah some of these x factor abilities like aren't as exciting as others like drew Brees is pro reads which i'm not even gonna really try to get right now because like the pro reads is pretty silly it just highlights the first button that madden thinks is open which might not even be open third down and 17 we are still trying to just give the ball to Kamara while we're at it like, let's just make this an alvin Kamara highlight reel and Kamara's doing a pretty good job of doing his best, trying to make people miss in the open field. Breeze has still been money in this game. Like, 
the one interception was on me just forcing that ball downfield as fourth down and two of course we're giving it to Kamara and he's gonna fall forward Alvin Kamara has incredible balance in real life so no surprise to see him fall forward on that as we go to Traquan Smith who makes the one-handed catch for the touchdown once again Breeze pretty much a perfect passer maybe led that one a bit too far but Triquan Smith was able to bail out Breeze a bit there I suppose get the touchdown 17 to 35 at this point I don't really care if my opponent quits we've done what we had to do and it's gonna be pretty much impossible to get Alvin Kamara back in the zone so we're kind of just playing this game out at this point I'd prefer my opponent not to run hurry up put two people on corner routes at least it got intercepted by Mark Sean Lattimore. What am I doing, man? Why am I celebrating on this poor guy? Well, I, I, I watch these back and I'm like, what am I doing sometimes when I celebrate? I guess I, I, I kind of want, I don't know what I was trying to do. I really don't know what the point of that was. Like, I always tell you guys, like, I don't really taunt too much. I find myself taunting more than I should be. I've, I've developed a bad habit of taunting a bit too much. On random plays, like an interception by the CPU of Marshawn Lattimore. As you see, we're using the pump fake, trying to overdo the pump fake. I did the pump fake at one point in the last drive when we had Traquan for a touchdown. And I ended up getting sacked by Aaron Donald. So maybe I have to chill with that a little bit. As Kamara with the hurdle, with the touchdown. Alvin Kamara is still doing his thing on the field, even though this game is a wrap. As you see, my opponent is continuing. I don't know what he's trying to do. After this play, though, for whatever reason, he sticks it out the entire game until... He puts his hands in the cookie jar for, I believe, the third time in this game. Gets intercepted, and he just had enough. He didn't want to finish the last minute 14. He ends up quitting, so fine by me. Uh, uh, did we get a check at Kamara's stats? 4 for 36? Yes, 14 for 186. And however many touchdowns he had, you guys probably saw that. I didn't quite see it. That's the game nonetheless. If you guys enjoyed seeing Kamara's satellite X-Factor ability activated and the game in general, leave a like in the video. If you guys want to see more of these X-Factor videos and just saw us goofing around in Madden 20, subscribe to the channel. And on that note, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.